It's the NBA fancies itself a global game in the 2021 NBA Finals. They were broadcasted in more than 200 countries in over 50 different languages. And that reaches Bond fans all over the world, including Africa, where Mark Spears recently spent time in early February. The NBA had 14 African-born players on opening day, including MVP candidate Joel Embiid, Get out of the way! Joel and B with a ferocious slam! And one-time champion, Pascal Siakam. Siakam! Oh, what a slam! Both in Cameroon. The league also has 50 players with a parent born on the continent, like two-time NBA MVP Giannis Adedonkumbo. Giannis goes airborne and sends it down! Whose parents hail from Nigeria. Knowing the amazing that could be possible with better facilities, coaching, and promotion of the game, the NBA created the Basketball Africa League in 2020 to build the foundation for greatness to eventually come in much higher numbers from Africa. Africa is a continent that's full of treasure that needs to be hunted. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're just hunting for those treasures. And every time we go for the hunting and we keep discovering more talent and more gifts, the fourth pick in the 1991 NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select the Kembe Mutombo. I remember when I got drafted and I'd be there in the stage with our late commissioner, David, and uh, shaking his hands. He knew that I was not going to be the last one come down from the continent. He said, son, I want to see more of you in the league. We said, there's something here, right? There's a, a hunger for it, a demand for our game here. And so how do we start thinking about what that would look like? Look at Miami Heat, how many African, Nigerian players, African players everywhere. Look at college basketball. Look at the National Football League. Everywhere, Africans. When you see guys like Giannis and Embiid and Siakam and what kind of comes to your mind when you see the success those guys are having now? There are the few answers the puzzle that need to be solved by the continent. You still have more Siaka and uh, Joel and Yanis, but nobody have not come to them yet. And those kids are there. They are looking for the opportunity. There's so many, many millions of them. The great impact has begun. I'll say, it. two years ago, who was the MVP of the league? Yanis Adetokounmpo. He's not Greek, he's African. He's Nigerian, let's be real. We are only scratching the surface, but all indication is that it's a very, very bright future. The Basketball Africa League is now in its second season with 12 teams from 12 different countries vying for a title in Rwanda in late May. The NBA's hope is that the BAL will grow to bring more interest in the game of basketball to Africans. I'm so happy the direction that uh, the African basketball is going. We have more young people who are playing basketball than they have. For young boys and girls to be able to say, you know what, I can play professional basketball at a high level without have, ever having to leave the continent. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.